What's up, online people? So today I want to touch base a little bit about um, the process of being an entrepreneur. You know, a lot of time we we're trying to be entrepreneurs, you know, thinking it's easy. And it, it, it's a lot of time it's the fault of the media, you know, passing the wrong messages. We make it seem like you know it's all about registering a business. Going in business and everything will fall apart. Fall into places and you know, you'll make money. But uh, it doesn't work like that. And if you've been in business before, you know that. But if you're about to start your business, this information is going to be extremely valuable for you. So let me tell you two things. Number one, you got to understand that when you start a business, you can't afford an account. Most of you guys, even myself when I started, you can't afford a sales guy. You can't afford a financial person, a CFO to help you raise money. You can't afford a, a, a tech, technical guy or a software developer, you know, to develop your system. So what you gotta do, you gotta be extremely creative. And that's why it's extremely hard. If you break those things apart, it's not that hard. If you have a guy for all those positions, it's not that hard. But because you have to wear all those hats, you know, you have to be able to, you know, how, learn all those things. How you raise money, do competition. How am I going to raise my next 10, 15, 20 thousand dollars? You know, how am I going to get an account that a cost effective way is going to run you all the money? You know, so you got to negotiate. How are you gonna find a technician or a software developer? It's gonna, it's not good. Where you're not gonna have to hire the guy full time. You can find a contract at a low cost. And all those things um, have to be figured out, and you have to figure those things out. So you gotta decide how you're gonna get this thing done. You know, it's not gonna be done on its own. You know, so you you have to strategize. You know, and like I said, a lot of us are not taught all those things or not, we're not told all those challenges. And those are the basic, basic challenges I can come up with. You know, there's a lot more challenges when you scale up and all those things. Now, if you're gonna keep your business small, if you're gonna keep your business, you know, uh, just being a consultant or um, just have a shop, this is not you. It's not that hard. You still have to do some of that process, but you're not gonna go through all that hardship. Uh, but if you wanna build a big business, a million dollar business, I can guarantee it's the hardest thing you'll ever do in your life. So you need to prepare yourself and prepare your mindset that this is gonna be the toughest thing you're gonna do. You know, everything you read about business, you know, unfortunately books, videos, all those short spam, all those magazines, do not tell you the day-to-day -day of what that person went through every day. You know, nobody can really put that in writing, you know, only you. They tell you, okay, I started here, I'm here now, but they, talk, they don't tell you in between. The in between, that's the hardest part, you know, and a few, a minute few, don't go through hell building a business. A minute few, less than a percent, less than a 0.1 percent. The rest of us, we grind, 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 go through stress, go through, you know, a lot of troubles, uh, um, a lot of ups and downs emotionally, physically, financially, you know, a lot of criticism. That's what you're going to go through. If you're ready for this, if you're ready to do this, if you're ready for the stress and all those things, if you're ready for the roller coaster ride, then go for business. If you're not, get a job or be a consultant. That'll minimize your stress. Listen, you, you hear about greatness all over the place. You know, we hear people talking about, yo, that's the key to doing greatness, but let, let me let, learn from somebody who was not great for a long time. Actually, I was the black sheep of my family doing dumb stuff all the time, man. 
getting in trouble, fighting, stealing, all kind of stuff. Name it. Qui, euh, allez assumer ses pollutions, les autres, et puis nous. I, I've done it, man. Name it has been on the list. Except, no, no killing, but uh, doing dumb stuff, man. Especially the lying and the stealing. You know, and one thing I've learned, my biggest problem was, I was thinking that there was a, a, a short road to success. I thought I was going to be successful doing what I was doing, stealing, lying, and all those things, you know, as a kid and as a young teenager and all those things. So I didn't understand that, you know, hard work, dedication, focus, that's the key. You know, success is painful, you know, and when when I change when I change my mindset, that's when things start changing. That's when things start improving. You know, instead of having short-term goals, I had long-term goals, you know. So greatness, as 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 it stands, it's not about achieving billions and millions. At least it's not to me. If greatness for you is to be a billionaire, hey, that's your choice. To me, greatness is to understand the process, you know, understand what it takes to get to where you need to be at. Understand that during that process, you're gonna learn so much. Your mindset is gonna change. You're gonna grow as an individual. You know, that's greatness, man. And you have to change your mindset. So the most valuable commodity I've I've learned in business, you know, it's 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 the trust, it's the work ethics of of, of someone. You know, is the integrity of someone. So many times we deal with stuff, people that are not doing what they're supposed to do, not following their their words. You know, um, giving you one side of the story and and doing something else. Finding that trustworthy person, individual, to me is the most valuable commodity nowadays in business. And you can't achieve greatness in business without having trustworthy people around you you know so 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 think about that for a second man if you're about to start something just have a long-term vision about it man if you think you're gonna beat the system and and find your way and all this you might win a few times you you know but at the end of the day you're gonna get caught my mom used to say you know my mom used to say whatever you 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 think you're gonna outdo me I did it. I did it, you know, way before you were born. So there's nothing you can do that I haven't done. And by the time, eventually, you will get caught, you know. And I didn't understand that. I, you know, when we kids, you think you're smarter than your parents. But, you know, parents lived it before us. So there's not there's not much new stuff you can bring to the table they haven't seen, you know, especially doing dumb stuff, you know, because they, they did dumb stuff in their life too. So... So stop thinking you're smarter than everybody, man. If you want to live a crime life, good luck. But focus on the good, man. You know, and then you'll achieve great. Partnership among private and public sector. Uh, instead of importing technology, we need to find a way to develop the technology in Africa, not necessarily, uh, uh, not necessarily in Rwanda, but it could be in the region, you know. Uh, there's a lack of partnership between big companies and small companies. You know, telecom company, for example, <laughs> with all the money they make. Yeah, and they are getting huge here because they, they start doing banking. Yeah, yeah, they should be able to have a fund, an innovation fund, for example, to promote local innovation or local technology. So we need to understand that you can't have the same pricing for the same uh, type of uh, customer. You need to have different, uh, you need to adapt, you know, uh, to your customer base. And finally, I would say, um, there, is need, there needs to be a, a better um, communication among ourselves mm -hmm. to organize ourselves much better. better. We don't have a strong um, unity among SMEs. To speak with one voice, because a lot of time you need to organize yourself to, to, to ask for changes.